Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have the newest LBX, LBX number 40, and it is Buster. Um, he is more like a, like Deku, uh, for the, a trash mob that you see in the game, the Dumbo Senki W game. So, let's have a look at the box. The box, um, it is done by Omega Dan, and of course Real World Bandai 2013. Um, on the side of the box you will see Buster and um, his weapon which is like a little rifle and of course his special attack and it shows you a bit detailed, there's no players he is fully customizable with all the existing LBX and beyond hopefully and just some miscellaneous in, um, in information and that's about it let me just put the box down alright uh, inside you do get an instruction manual um, let me just grab it for you it is actually quite a straightforward instruction manual this is the instruction manual, oh sorry box fell down, let me just get something to stabilize it Okay. so you do get the instruction manual and, and all that huh, it doesn't seem like it's focusing because a bit of a different lighting here uh, manga there and of course it is actually promoting the custom weapon kit yeah, clever Bandai, that's what they do. They use products within products. And of course, see? No code as usual. So, um, let's get straight to the figure itself. This is Buster. Overall, he is really simple to build. Um, there are only, from my memory, there are only like, on his main body, there is only four stickers, or five stickers. Uh, on the on the front plate here, his actual face, the Master Chief face, um, it's actually silver inside. So once you look at it, uh, it looks a bit shiny from the inside of the visor, and um, on the side of the head and all that. The the other four stickers actually the back jetpack that he wears on him. So if I can take it off. So this one actually comes off. So you can see the orange part, this two part is sticker, and this two part is sticker, total of four stickers. Um, this is what Buster normally looks like, and you can put the jetpack on if you want um, or not. So it's really up to you. It goes on really easily. Just clip it on like that, and that's it. Uh, assembly wise, he is a really straightforward LBX. Um, nothing complicated like uh, Icaros. Oh man, that was complicated. Um, yeah, and not it doesn't have a lot of gimmicks like what you're seeing Achilles D9 and um, Odin MK2 Mark II and all that. So he is like a really vanilla LBX. Something you'll see like in season one LBXs like Hakaio and all that. But other than that, he is quite solid. Um, he is a solid LBX. Not too bad. Not too bad, but. I personally think you can skip him, you can save the money and don't buy him because he is not really important and I would say the only thing that I like about Buster is probably his head his head is for customization but but then again you have like Proto Eye, you have Icaros and all their heads are a bit better than what you see here with Buster so should you get him I would probably say you can skip him totally he isn't he isn't worth it and I was a bit disappointed that they could have done something. Um there are so much more better trash mobs that they can do but they decided not to do it. And that is kind of disappointing. Uh he does get a gun. That's the only gun and again they went back to their <laughs> cheap self again, which is just two piece plastic clipped on together, and that's pretty much it. That's this is Buster. Busted. Alright, and lastly, um, his battle dice. Uh, what you get here, let me just... Okay. What you get here, oh, sorry. Ooh. What you get here is a head, the arm, body, body, leg, and weapon. So, this is Buster. Alright, so, yeah, this is a really short review because this figure is really not worth buying to be honest um, building him was really simple like I told you and 
but unless you are a LB expand, you have to catch them all, then probably you will have to get it. But other than that, I would say save your money and let's hope for other LBXs. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Take it easy.